My name is Linda Fox, and I'm a part of the ministerial staff at First Church under the leadership of Dr. Ralph A. Martino. And I just want to come before you today and give you a little word of encouragement. And the title that God gave me as I was allowing him to download into me is I Thirst. And sometimes we all know that I Thirst means something maybe to drink. But also, let me just inform you as well that we all know that I thirst was the fifth word spoken, um, the seven last words by Jesus as he was dying on the cross, and that's taken from John 19, verse 28. And sometimes we have to remember that Thirst is not only something that we may drink, but it's also a part of a desire to be filled or maybe even some type of emptiness. And sometimes we just thirst like the Word of God. The question I pose to you today is, what do you think God was trying to say to us with these two simple words, I thirst? We believe that God's thirst is a burning desire to give you the gift of love. A gift that is everlasting to everlasting. A gift of love that is overflowing with goodness, grace, and mercy. And in my study time, I also want to use the reference of Mother Teresa, which describes it this way. I thirst is something much deeper than just Jesus saying, I love you until you know deep inside that Jesus thirsts for you, you can't begin to know who he wants to be for you or who he wants you to be for him. She also indicated that God knows all about our heart. He knows about our loneliness and all of our wounds, the rejection, the judgment, and the humiliation that we all went through. But we have to also remember that when he was dying on the cross, that he took all of that with him. He carried all of that to the cross with him as he was dying. Sometimes we have a desire to satisfy our own thirst. And it's in vain, seeking that love with selfishness and trying to fulfill the void within us. But sometimes that's not enough. Jesus said, I stand at the door of your heart and want you to let me love you with a love that is genuine and a love that is unconditional that only I can and will provide to you, only if you would allow me in. My love I give to you freely. I thirst for you to connect with me. I have penned for you love letters in my word, 66 books that are dedicated to you, my beloved. Jesus is seeking an intimate relationship with you in a quiet time just a love upon you, a time to connect. Mother Teresa also took these words, I thirst personally, and she asked the sisters to imagine Jesus saying these words directly to them from the cross. She even encouraged them to put their name in front of I thirst, for example, Linda, I thirst. Now that right there is deep. So I encourage you to do the same. Do you feel the connection? Do you feel a sense of longing? Do you feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit? Can you just imagine you're standing there at the foot of the cross. Jesus is hanging there and he turns to you and say, I thirst for your love your heart. I thirst for your attention, your time, and complete total surrenderance. Can you imagine that Jesus loves you that much 
that in his dying, he still wants you and I to know that he genuinely loves us that much to let us know that he thirsts for you and I. Are you thirsty? How thirsty are you? And who are you thirsting for?